Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning C++ programming language, we have discussed arrays in C, 1D array. But there is a small topic left in 1D array. So before discussing 2D array, let's uh, finish this topic as well. That is the addressing of array elements. How to calculate address of the elements of 1D array, right? Okay, if you're not getting anything, have uh, patience, you'll get everything, right? What is 1D array? If I take one example, like I'm just taking an integer array of uh, name A and just only five integer, right? And suppose here I have like some values, five values in this array, right? This is I have initialized this array with some initializer list. So how in memory this is to be stored? In contiguous memory location, right? So if the base address, suppose, I don't know the address, suppose, because that is in hexadecimal form, suppose the address is 100, simple address I'm taking, right? So integer is going to take obviously four bytes, right? Actually it depends on, uh, it depends on compiler also, but in my case, in my laptop, it is taking four bytes, right? So you can check out in your laptop, right? The size of int and you can just print that thing. 100 now the next element would be at 104 because this is going to take four bytes one element 104 108 112 and 116 right index always starts from 0 0 1 2 3 4 arrow index right this is what arrow name a and in array here what is to be stored the base address of the array base address is 100 or you can say the uh, address of first element of array, right? So 100 is to be stored and so this is pointing to here, array name A. So I have told you like internally, implicitly it is array name is acting as a pointer, except few cases, right? See, we have discussed this thing, why this is start from zero and uh, all these things, the index start from zero when we were discussing the very first video of array. Uh, I guess the introduction, introductory part, introduction to 1D array, right? You can go and check out that video. So, see now this is what, if you want to access the array elements, then directly we can access array, any array element, randomly, right? So if I want to access this, this element, so the index is A, what you have to write A of 1 and it will give you 0. If I write A of 3, it will give you 1. Right? It's not like that the third element, 1, 2, 3. No. This index is actually the offset. Means the distance from the first element. How many steps you need to take to reach to this, this, this offset, third offset. So 1, 2, 3. So this is the output 1. Right? But how the address is to be calculated? Obviously when we are writing something then there is some inner working. Right? The address is like 112 and at 112 there is one so one is to be fast suppose if you have five friends and your five friends are you know their houses are in a line something like this so if i say and and this house is of your friend like maybe uh, rahul so if i say go and call rahul so you will directly go to rahul's house because you know the address right so how to calculate this address? What is the formula? How this addressing, addressing is to be done of array elements? So there is a simple formula. What is that? See, now here, this B is base address. So if I take example of A of three, base address of the array, base address of this array is what 100. So let's take 100 plus this S is what? size of a single element of that array in bytes. So in this array size of a single element because this is of integer type, right? And obviously all the element would be integer because array is collection of homogeneous data types, right? So one element will take four bytes. So size is four into this i is what the index, right? Index is three because for this I want to calculate the address. So index is three minus this lb is what lower bound lower bound is what you can say that array of the uh, address of the first element or the index of the uh, sorry index of the first element of there if no lower bound is given then you have to assume it zero so lower bound is in this case zero 
right because no lower bound is given now 100 plus 4 into 3 so it is 1 1 2 and we know array of this third this element is what at address 1 1 2 right so this is the simple formula you can take any so suppose i'm taking a of 0 right so base address 100 plus size 4 bytes into i is what index 0 minus lower bound is also 0 so this would be 100 only and we know a of 0 is the address of a of 0 this element is what 100 only right so this formula you need to you know remember right if you want to calculate the address of any array element 1d array right for 2D array, it's a little bit different. So that thing we'll discuss in next video. Like from next video, we'll see about multidimensional arrays, especially 2D arrays, right? So now that's it for this video. Now I'll see you in the next video. Then bye. Take care.